Is this visible? Yes. Okay, let's begin. So we are going to work with prime factorization. Now to know about prime factorization, first we need to know what is prime number. Prime number means the number is divisible by one and itself. For example, two, three, five, seven, eleven. 13, 17, 19, 23, and so on. Okay. How you will do prime factorization? Suppose 6, 2 times 3. So 2 is also prime, 3 is also prime. So 2 and 3 are prime factor. If I have, we have more than one digit, what do you have to do? More than one digit. Suppose we have 18, 12 and uh, 9. So what you have to do? 18 means 2 into 3 into 3. Right? 12 means 2 into 2 into 3. 9 means... I thought it would be 2 into 6. 2 into 6. 6 means... But 6 is not prime. You have to give a factor of prime. So that means 2 into 2 into 3. Oh, okay. Okay. 9 means 3 times 3. So these are the prime factor between... Uh, it's okay. Now, if there is asking what is the common prime factor between 18, 12, and 9, there is no common prime factor that is only is there, that is 3. Right? Yeah. So... Each value, like prime factor of 12, prime factor of 18, prime factor of 9, you have to write prime factor of prime factor. Is one a prime factor? One is not prime because one, uh, one is an unit. It's an unit value. So it is not prime, not composite. Now, composite values are which, whose factor you are making. Composite means composition of different values. So, this is a composite number, like 12, 18, 9. These are all composite number because it is possible to make factors. Okay? So, prime factors are like this. Prime factor means you have to get the factor at the end which do not have any other factors except one and the number itself. Okay. 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 So let's begin.